Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood, your host. I want to talk about how to make a concrete driveway, concrete patio, concrete walkway, a concrete pool deck last forever in the north when it's poured on clay. Cement contractors use aggregate or sand for leveling out before they pour concrete. Now, this has been just historically the way concrete has been done. A lot of guys are starting to cut out the clay and pour the concrete right on the clay. Actually, that's been a practice now for some time. But it's not, you know, that easy around a pool. If you dig a big hole and by the time you get the construction done for the pool, you're going to need some leveling sand so that you can pour your concrete. The problem is now you have this hole that's like a bowl and you have either aggregate or sand. Now water is going to get trapped in that vein of stone or sand. That's the problem. So what we did on this job, and I wanted to use this as a great example, is we did a drain all the way around it. And then we had to undermine it. And what that means is you had to dig up and under the concrete so that you can get in that vein of water. So we had to break all this clay down. We had to take the shovel and keep working our way underneath the concrete deck until we got into that pocket of sand that was holding all that water. You know, interesting enough, you have to do this in many locations. So you do the drain along your concrete and... If it's a driveway, you have to be off a couple feet because people are going to drive off the driveway once in a while. This is why you have to work your way under the concrete and stay off of the concrete some distance, maybe 18 inches, 24 inches. You don't want to dig all the clay out right along the edge of the driveway. Now, when there's weight put on that concrete, you don't have that strong, you know, virgin soil to hold it in place. So you don't want to just dig right along the cement and just dig down, you know, 16 inches and put in a drain. That would actually weaken the edge of the concrete. It wouldn't, you know, hold it tight like the virgin soil. So we went around this entire pool and then we would break through the clay until we hit the sand pocket underneath this concrete. And again, this works for all types of concrete. I don't care if it's a driveway, patio, pool deck, sidewalk. This works. If you know that your concrete was poured on limestone or sand and it was dug out like a bowl and it's just a pocket of water underneath there, in the wintertime in the north... That water is going to freeze and expand and bust the concrete. If it's in the south, there's a good chance that during the rainy season, it's going to be a slurry if it's sand and it's loaded up with water. And this, the weight of a truck could possibly crack it. So I don't care where you're at, whether it's a warm climate or a cold climate, this will really help. This actually, if you have good drainage under your concrete, your concrete will last forever. Now, you do have to buy quality concrete. You have to go with something that's 4,000 PSI for a driveway is my recommendation. But with that being said, as long as you have good concrete and a good drainage system, you literally only have to do that concrete once. That's it. Now, concrete will continue to harden. Believe it or not, when I say this, it's getting harder five years from 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. I was told this as a young contractor, and I thought they were kidding. I honestly thought somebody was just trying to you know, get one over on me, and it's the truth. That's why when you bust out old concrete, it's so hard to hammer out. The older it is, 
the harder it becomes. So if you have a good drainage system and you use good concrete, you could actually have a driveway that lasts forever. Now you can just see the water just pouring out. Look at that sand slurry. Just, you know, a pocket. When you dig in clay, when you go ahead and cut out clay to pour concrete and you put sand and or some sort of leveling stone underneath it, you just gave water a place to lay. So again, it's either going to be underneath the concrete in a warm climate where you end up with the subsurface just being saturated, meaning a heavy truck or something can then just crack the driveway or in the north, all that water just laying then, you know, in that pocket, you know, whether it's sand or stone, that's going to freeze and expand. And the hydraulics, I mean, the force that's put on that concrete, it's going to crack it no matter what it is. I don't care if it's 4,000 PSI or not. I mean, it's going to crack it. So I highly recommend a good drainage system with any new pour. If somebody calls me and says, I just had a driveway poured and it's pitched and all the water runs and it's really wet along the edge and it's, there's even like puddles, if you will, right there you know you need to have a drainage system put in you got water underneath the concrete when it sheds surface water it's just starting the pond along the edge a drainage system a drainage system with every concrete job makes a big difference now our highways they all have french drains under them now we build them up with sand and limestone and it requires a French drain, and yes, they do burrito wrap it. Look at all that water. So this worked out great. This was right before winter could have its way with this pool deck. We actually did a system to protect the concrete, and we also went down probably on this job i think we were down uh, eight feet so that we can get all the water that was behind the pool liner so this was a pretty big job it was pretty detailed and i'm sorry that i i couldn't capture more video for you but we weren't working in ideal conditions and we ended up with two sump pumps we had two systems so we actually pumped all the water that was behind the pool liner to the pump that keeps all the water from building up underneath the concrete. So we had two, two pumps in this uh, installation. And it was a big property. So we also grabbed up some water that was laying in the back. It was in a rural community, agricultural community of Michigan. This is Lenox, Michigan. Good job. Hang on one second, Francisco. Hang on. That thing's gushing a lot of water, brother. Man. That's what we wanted, too. We wanted to hit that pocket of water. That's why he was getting water behind his pool liner. Yeah. You know, the clay, the clay, you dig a pool in this area and you just made a big bathtub, you know? So if a picture is worth a thousand words, what was that video worth? Look at that sand just oozing out from underneath this concrete. Now, we packed stone in all these areas. Every place that we dug and undermined the concrete and all the sand and water ran out, we went ahead and we packed stone under it. So we were getting kind of deep on this side of the pool because we had slope. We went around the entire pool yard and we pitched it. 
we're collecting all the water in this monster drainage system. This ended up being a really big system. I mean, we had a bad seed, and we added so much length to the chamber. It was honestly, I think it was something uh, ridiculous, like 20 feet of chamber. And then, again, we were quite deep. We undermined the concrete, and we dug under the pool, and we grabbed a pocket of water that was causing problems behind the liner. So this... This was a big job, and, you know, this is what clay does. Clay will just hold the water. It's like a bathtub. You dig a hole to make a pool. You dig a, a hole to pour concrete. You're going to end up with water trapped underneath that structure. When they're building roads, all the new roads that are going in, for the past decade, I've seen just amazing, complex drainage systems. They are going to great lengths and expense to build drainage systems because they have learned from decades and decades of infrastructure that has just come apart and just crumbled due to water, hydrostatic pressures, compromised subsoils. The list is long, but you want to get rid of that water. If you want structures, foundations, roads, bridges, all that stuff, if you want it to hold up and last, drainage systems have to be in place for everything. If you're pouring new concrete on clay, you need a drainage system. If you hire a concrete guy and he doesn't understand drainage, he's going to think you're talking about pitching the cement. Oh, yes, I'm going to pitch the cement away from the house. So he's taking care of the surface water, and he's making sure it sheds away from your home, whether it's driveway or a patio or a pool deck. That's in the event that he knows enough to do that, okay? Because I've seen cement where they actually pitch it towards the house, and it just creates a lot of work for us because we end up having to cut concrete out and putting in a channel drain. So when you're hiring a concrete guy, you want to go into great depth on the drainage that he's going to include with that concrete. Don't let that hard-earned money of yours be for nothing. Do it once and do it right. All right, everybody. Until that next video.